future is now. a shipment of steel supports when the procurement manager stopped him. In the heated conversation that followed, Sanders grabbed a nearby pickaxe and lunged at the manager. Luckily, the argument beforehand generated a sizable crowd. And when Sanders attacked the manager, a number of men were able to subdue him. When we questioned Sanders, afterwards he seemed to have developed short-term amnesia. He, he didn't remember why he got so upset and attacked the manager. He only recalled stopping his loader and then moments later waking in the holding cell. <sighs> Since that event, we have seen arguments progress more and more from heated shouting matches straight into outright brawls. Antagonists in these incidents all display the same conditions, as if they were suddenly possessed by violent anger, and then afterwards return to normal. We have only one serious life-threatening case so far, where engineer Leon Powell was stabbed multiple times. I fear this is not the worst of our troubles, and have requested additional security personnel posted at critical junctions. Assist any immediate medical need, I have resupplied storage cabinet 965 with the accompanying code of 428. Sergeant Nasser Adil, out. Nasir Adil, personal log dated November 12th, 2145. I have just received word from Central Authority that a UAC representative, Councillor Elliot Swan, will be arriving in a few days from Earth. The report states he will be reviewing all sectors of Mars City, including existence. <sighs> I'm not sure. <laughs> assigned to me and other security personnel. But I can't figure out who else has those codes. To sum up, this is a bad situation, turning worse every day. My recent request for more manpower in Exist Labs was denied. It seems other sectors of Mars City are stretched thin, and the small reserves at the base are already allocated. I need to have faith in my current attachment of Marines that they will turn things around. I'll talk to Central again and see if Councillor Swan can bypass Exis. The last thing I want is some staff worker with a sudden episode of dementia murdering a VIP. I'm having enough problems trying to keep everyone here from killing each other. 
Sergeant Nasir Adil, signing off. there. Look, we don't have much time. These creatures are spreading throughout the base, and if we don't act quickly, all could be lost. I understand you have a lot of questions, but I can't answer them right now. All I can say is, we need to get the teleporter in the next chamber working. But to do that, I need you to find a plasma inducer for the stabilizer bank. There's one in engineering. Now, if you head through the service tunnel, you can reach it. I'll unlock some doors. There. That will give you the necessary clearance. Now, please, get the inducer and hurry back. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry.
Dmitry Lebedev, supply manager for the Access Labs facility. Entry dated October 6, 2145. I've received the latest shipment of MK7 spacesuits from Earth today. They have a triple weave of titanium mesh on the outer layer for Class V excursions. With the ongoing construction requiring additional EVA time on the Martian surface, these new suits should hold up better. Uh, in the last two months of today. A number of unexplained suit decompressions resulting in fatalities. Uh, in the case of technician Mike Stanley, the decompression was so rapid the resulting implosion caused him to almost liquefy and fuse with the suit interior. If it wasn't for the suit's name tag, eh? there wouldn't be much to identify. In each case, the penetrations and loss of pressure appear to occur from inside the suit rather than out. I can attest these suits were thoroughly inspected and micro-scanned after the incidents and no material degradations were found. Per UAC EVA regulations, the suits before the accidents were properly stored and locked away to prevent any mishandling. I also followed up with the technicians on ensuring the suits had the necessary pre-EVA checklist before anyone reaches the Martian atmosphere. I'm hoping the new suits will address the issue. Each suit lost this way, it just means more paperwork for me, so... Along with the new suit shipment, we've received additional medical supplies. I've placed the extra packs in the storage cabinet 071 with the access code of 532. Dmitry Lebedev, end of walk.